Asbestos is terrifying. Number one, she is loud and always threatens to beat you up. Number two, when I think of defenders, I always think of the shield. It's a tool that protects whatever is behind it. But if a shield can literally spit fire at you, you should run away from it. You'll be reduced to atoms. You're done. Asbestos is the result of what happens if you try to make a ground caster. She is built like a tank and is able to shoot like one. In this video, I'll be taking a closer look at her kit and also answer the ultimate question, should you build asbestos? Asbestos is a 5-star defender belonging to the Arch Protector subclass. She excels in Arch Mitigation as well as providing Arch DPS capabilities. Thanks to her talent Moist Skin, ugh, that increases her arch resistance by 10, making her the defender with the highest resistance. This talent also allows her to restore 3 SP for every arch damage taken at Elite 2. Asbestos has great synergy with Nightingale's skill 3, as she can reach 95% art resistance, which is the highest possible value despite the game showing 100% resistance. This happens because all operators will always take a damage equal to at least 5% of the enemy's attack power. This talent does suffer greatly in stages that do not have casters or other arts enemies, which means it takes more time to activate Asbestos skills. You can get around this problem by using battery operators such as Tilopsis, Warfarin or Liskarm. I made a video about the two medics, which you can check it out here. But in short, if you want to minimize RNG, Liskarm and Telopsis are good choices. When activating skill 1, Resilient Mode, Asbestos dodges the next incoming arts attack and reduces the subsequent arts damage by 20% at level 7. This skill adds an extra layer of survivability to Asbestos, making her able to withstand majority of arch damage from casters and even from the ones casted by the big purple arch drones. Mastery is not recommended. In addition to reduced SP cost, Mastery 3 only grants her further arch reduction and honestly, it would be better if you spend your resources on her other skill. Resilient mode may turn Asbestos into an indestructible fortress, however, it's her skill 2 that makes her an absolute unit of a defender. Or caster. Or defender caster. Before I continue with her skill, I invite you to hit the like button. It's free, it doesn't cost you anything, and it helps the video. With that being said, let's move on. Skill 2, Thermal Power Mode, transforms Asbestos into a ground caster by changing her attack into AoE damage. Her attack range also changes into a 3x2 area similar to that of Spreadshooter Snipers. This skill also increases her attack by 60% and her defense by 45% at level 7. The damage produced from this skill is absolutely ridiculous for a defender and it's on par to those of AoE casters. In addition to that, skill 2 has a duration of 46 seconds at level 7 and 50 seconds at mastery 3. Probably the longest skill uptime I've ever seen for a defender. Speaking of which, I highly recommend that you invest in its mastery level as it grants Asbestos an additional tile, extending not only her range, but her AoE damage as well. All of these perks in exchange for a significantly higher SP cost and a slower attack interval. These hurdles are not hard to overcome as long as you have the correct supporting operator. The aforementioned battery operators will do a great job at taking care of the high SP costs, while Ak will solve your attack interval problem. Or during a CC daily rotation map, sometimes you will get attack that will increase your attack speed. But who uses that? Come on. Should you build asbestos? Yes. If you're watching this before July 8th, 2022, then I highly recommend that you get her from the certificate store. But if you happen to get her from Gacha, my answer is still the same. I believe that Asbestos is a great alternative to AoE casters. Her skill to damage is on par with most AoE casters in the game. It has great uptime, sitting at 50 seconds at Mastery 3, and not to mention she is significantly way cheaper to deploy. Skill 2 might be demanding, but as I mentioned before, Asbestos talent can easily take care of this problem, especially at Elite 2, or deploy battery operators next to her. In terms of stages that work well with her kit, Asbestos excels in Chapter 6, 
7, 8, and 9, where there are a lot of casters can be found in many stages. And as for CC maps, Asbestos performs well in Windswept Highlands, Arena 8, and Howling Desert to name a few. Even at her worst, she is a really great defender who can soak damage, burn people alive, while also being kind of an asshole. That's all I have to say about this lizard of a woman, I'll see you next time.